this is Mrs. White, who is getting ready to go out to a regular weekly bridge evening. She's carefully selecting a white headscarf. Another member of the bridge four, Mrs. Black, is also preparing to leave. She's wearing a dark coat and dark headscarf. Only one of these women will come home. Mrs. White's ready to go. Well, she will be when she's seen that her husband doesn't drop ash on the carpet and give him a wifely kiss. As she leaves the lighted doorway, she can still be seen in the darkness in her light coat and scarf. But as Mrs. Black leaves her home, she becomes almost invisible when she's left the lighted house. Even on the dimly lit road, Mrs. White can be seen. As there are no footpaths, she's walking facing approaching traffic. A motorcyclist easily picks her up in the light of his headlamp. And as she's facing him, she can see when to step off the road to let him pass. Somewhere ahead in the darkness is Mrs. Black, foolishly walking with her back to approaching traffic. She's almost invisible. Behind her on the narrow winding road is a car. The driver has no idea that Mrs. Black is in the darkness ahead of him. In her dark clothing, she won't be seen until the last moment. <coughs> Mrs. Black hasn't arrived for the bridge form. It seems silly that by a little forethought, by wearing something white, by facing oncoming traffic, by just little things, her death could have been averted. It seems the luck of the draw, fate or destiny. It isn't, of course. It's circumstance or a series of circumstances. Life and death often depend on little things, often on a little forethought on precautions that can prevent a tragedy.